So season four hasn't really started going to plan just yet. However, in between episodes one and episodes two, we have suddenly turned around our form. It wasn't instant. I, I grant you that it wasn't instant. We did lose another game against Fylde. We drew with Dulwich Hamlet. And then before we played Notts County, I had a little t a little chat with the team and said, listen up, guys, you're playing, po playing poorly. Let's turn this around. And we've done that. We beat Notts County 5-2. We drew 1-1 with uh, High Flying Eastleigh. They're actually doing a lot better than uh, what I originally thought they were doing. We then beat Halifax, Haven't Water Louisville in the Cup. Top of the table, Chesterfield as well. Today is going to be 22nd place Bath. Hopefully, we should kind of be showing that we're playing really well at the moment. And also, second place South End. Basically, one poor team, one good team. We're probably going to beat South End and lose against Bath. In other news as well, we have had our takeover. It has literally just happened. If we go to Club Vision, I think, and this is the easiest way to tell, we've played two matches since this happened. So before the Havenham Mort Louisville game is when it happened. And so far, we've played two matches. They're quite happy with it. Before the takeover, we're on a D rating. We're currently on a C. Let's jump into match number one. The starting lineup then, we are going for the 5-2-3 formation. It's going to be Stewart and goal, or Pambu and Hennigan at the back. Gary Davies and Silco Thomas as our wingbacks. Davies has come in ahead of Lewis Payne because Lewis Payne hasn't been very good. Davies is doing okay at the moment. It's going to be Paul Searle and Dan Malone in midfield. McAniff, Spong and Laird as our strikers. I've played this team ever since we beat Notts County for the most part. There's been the odd change here or there due to fitness, but this is our starting eleven, And I kind of feel bad for players like Zach Brown, who at the end of last season, his contract was expiring. I managed to get him to sign a new deal, and now he's probably not going to be playing too much for us. Lewis Payne as well is another one where I think he's good enough to play for us, but if Gary Davies keeps doing the job... Gary Davies keeps getting the game. So we are then in our home kit wearing the white, Bath wearing the blue and red. Looking like a poor man's Barcelona, apparently. One thing that you've probably noticed as well, Malone is playing in midfield. He is not happy. He was basically starting to throw his toys out of the pram because he wanted to play more football. So we've started to do that. And since we've started to do that, the results have kind of changed around. So he does seem to be quite like an important person in our team. However... He's still not happy at the moment. He should suddenly click over and go, hold on, I've played the last 15 games in a row. I'm happy with football. Anyway, 14 minutes on the clock against Bath and they are coming forward with the ball over the top. Neil's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Stewart makes a good save, concedes the corner, but stops Bath from taking the lead. It is going to be a corner, though, that we are going to see on the right-hand side, left-footed from Simpson towards the back post. It's controlled from Diabate at the back post. Searle tackles, Davies clears. Counter-attack? Nope, we're not going to get there first. It's lumped back in. It's all forward to Makanef. Zach Orr, by the way, I think he's got like two under-21 caps for Nigeria now, which is actually quite impressive for a player who isn't very good. Well, it's not really started particularly well, has it? We've had two shots, but an XG of 0.04. Bath have had six, two on target, seven now with an XG of 0.87. We are not playing well. What suddenly happened? What's, I know what's happened. I've hit record. That's what's happened. And Football Manager has decided, you know what, you're not going to win any more games. Upward to Neil with the ball. H. Neil. Back to Upward. Neil again. Now J. Neil. Back to Upward again. What are they doing? These three are just passing between them. Reigns has managed to break past the defender. His effort isn't very good. Goes wide of the goalkeeper's post. It's going to be hopefully nil-nil at half time. And we need to have a little bit of a conversation, team. Because we have been absolutely appalling, haven't we? Defensively, we're okay. We're okay. We've not taken anywhere anywhere enough shots. Anywhere enough shots, sure thing. Um, I'm furious with your... It's not... I'm not furious with your finishing. I'm furious with the fact that you're not even taking shots. Right, do we do that and just say, you know what, when you get near the goal, do what you want, lads. Or do we say, shoot on sight. Pump it up to a, a bit of positive as well. This is a team 22nd in the table. 22nd in the table, we should be beating them. We are currently 7th, dropping down to 8th place by the looks of it because Woking have leapt over the top of us. A win will put us, best, basically, what I think will be 5th with a win, maybe, possibly 6th. Well, since half time, not a lot of chances going on highlights at the very least, but we are having some shots on target. Two of them, still an XG of 0 0.09. It's going to be another poor performance, isn't it? It's a throw for Silco Thomas to Jack Spong. 15 minutes of normal time to play. Malone crosses the ball in, does find McAniff at the back post. Jordan McAniff has scored four goals in his last five games. I don't know what's happened to McAniff, 
We've taken the lead. Jordan is very, very happy with that goal. I'm very happy as well. We need to do some subs. We really need to do some subs because uh, I've just seen our condition. And uh, yeah, we are playing a game in a couple of days' time as well. Laird is coming off for street. We're going to do Spong as well for... What do we do here? What do we do here? Do we do... Have we got... A... We've got no wingers. I mean, I feel like this is not the ideal. This, this is not what we should be doing, but we're going to go for that. We're going to put Zach Brown. Oh, we're doing far too many changes. I don't like it. Three changes then. Leon Pambu needs to come off. He is very poor. We can't do that. Gary needs to carry on. Pambu's coming off for... I mean, I feel like Lewis Payne kind of works in that central defence position. Gary Davis on a 6-3 is a very lucky boy. Pambu is playing so well. I didn't want to bring him off, but that fitness is a massive concern. We are going to shut up shop, go to cautious. Hopefully, we can uh, just see out the result, pick up the three points. Thomas to Malone. Forward again to Thomas. Left-hand side is McInerf, the goal scorer. Back to Hennigan. Where are we going, lads? Malone to Payne to Brown. Back to Payne. Where are we going? All the way back to the goalkeeper. What's happening with this highlight? Stewart to Zach Orr. Forward to Zach Brown. Now, sir, he's not going to get there. And now the counter-attack for Bath is on. Upward on the halfway line. Harrison Neal. Ball forward. Finds Cox. Straight through the defence. Make the save. He does make the save. It's a very good save from the Scottish goalkeeper. It is going to stay 1-0 for the moment. We do need to defend this corner. Simpson left-footed corner from the left-hand side towards the back post. And Rafferty's there making it 1-1. We can't buy a win on camera. Looking at the match stats, Bath have deserved this. Bath have definitely deserved this. They've been the better side. How have we done so badly? How have we done so badly? Again, we played well. Malone, 7-4. Searle, 7-2. McEnough, 7-3. I think Pambu, what's it? 7-5 for Pambu. 7-2 for the goalkeeper. We still concede a late goal, don't we? So 15 games into the season, we are just outside of the playoff spots. I said this in episode one that we need to be getting playoffs as a minimum. We are close. We are definitely close. We're now going to go forward and it's third place South End next. Lovely. We might win that one though. For match number two away from home against South End, we have to do a fair amount of changes because of fitness. So it's going to be Stewart in goal, Payne, Wakeley and Hennigan in defence, Davies and Thomas as our wing backs, Brown and Malone in midfield, McInerf the goal scorer as our right winger, Kiddo Taylor Hart on the left, Rob Street as our striker. If we have a quick scroll down, you can see Dean Laird, not very good, fair, tired, high injury risk, Spong, Pambu, or Ansel, all kind of unfit, so we don't really want to risk too many players. So there's a lot of changes, but there is a lot of opportunity as well for hopefully somebody in this list to make a name for themselves. I'm looking at you, Kiddo. Taylor Hart, him. So two episodes in to season four and so far we haven't won a single game on camera and I imagine this one might be going the same way. Southend are a very good side. I think they've obviously just been relegated into the Vanarama National. We are a good team. We're just not putting the like the results together at the moment. Street's there at the back post from McInerf's cross. Seedon holds on to the ball but I think Rob Street was offside. Yes, he was. 22 minutes, Wakeley's ball forward towards Street, can't really find him, and South End now have it, Glover to Freeman, right hand side is Shimanga, where's he going to go, to Thompson in the middle, back to Shimanga, across to Thompson once again, takes a touch, goes for goal, puts it in the bottom corner, it's 1-0 to South End, and I think this could be the start of a terrible, terrible result, literally three minutes later, and South End once again coming forward with the ball. Freeman to Hawks. Edge of the area. Goes for goal. Hits the hits McInef. I was going to say the defender. It's actually our right winger was at back there defending. Alexander has it through to Shimanga. Takes a touch. Goes for the opposite corner. Hits it well wide. Probably shouldn't have gone for the opposite corner. Should have gone for the near post and made it 2-0. Alexander's throw. 10 minutes left of the first half. Cross field ball. Payne clears it for us though. Street controls it. Needs, needs some support. Back to Zach Brown. Right hand side is McInef. He's got the ball over the top into the penalty area. Can he get his fifth goal in as many games? Kiddo Taylor Hart's there and he's hit that well over the bar. Oh my word. Somebody was offside. I don't know who was offside, but somebody was offside. It's a throw for Hume to Lawless back to Hume. Down the left. Cross in. Shimanga's there. Wakeley's there for us though. Lawless has controlled it. South end are just looking like a much better side, aren't they? Hume crosses it in. It's hit the post, I think. And we've cleared the ball. It is coming straight back towards us, though, which is a worry. Alexander's got past Silco Thomas in towards Freeman. It's kicked. Oh, my word. It's hit Kiddo Taylor Hart on the back of the head. Freeman's there. Malone's nicked it for us. He's lost it. What are we doing? What are we doing, lads? 
We're playing controlled possession and all we're actually doing is losing possession all the time. It's a header clear, there's a goal happening. It's a long highlight, there's a goal happening. Hume on that left-hand side, down to Hawks, two in the middle. Plenty of white shirts though, so we should have the numbers to clear it. Across comes in, Shemanga's there, flapped by the goalkeeper. It's 2-0 to Southend and this is game over. We're not even at half-time. And now we are at half-time and yeah, we are not doing very well at all. I'm happy with your performance. Nicky Southall, I'm happy with your performance. I mean, you know that wasn't good enough. Nobody cared. Nobody cared at all. Um, you weren't that bad. You can improve. Let's do that talk because that fires some people up. Right, we are going to go and we're going to go for a 4-4-2. I now need to do some changes to try and make this work. Right, there we go. So... Two substitutions at half-time. Ralph is coming on, Dean Laird is coming on, Kiddo Taylor Hart and Ben Hennigan going off. It means Silco Thomas is going on to that left wing position. We are obviously Payne and Wakely are going to be our centre-backs. Nathan Ralph is uh, going to be our left-back. Let's go into the second half and hope that we can get something straight into a highlight, straight away. This could be interesting. We are away from home, so arguably I should be playing this formation. This is what I did towards the end of last season and it kind of worked. Street with the ball breaks through, doesn't do a very good pass, and it's cleared upfield for South End. Is this an actual highlight, or is this like a weird highlight because I did some subs at half time? We've got the ball through Davies, he's chested it down straight to a South End player. We've nicked it back, Street's ball tries to find Laird on the left hand side, can't get there though. The Blackburn man just doesn't even bother trying. There's a goal happening in this highlight as well. It's going on for too long, and hopefully, we've still got the ball, so it might be a goal for us. Laird is there, Dean Laird's there at the front post. 50 seconds he's been on the pitch and he's made it 2-1. Maybe 4-4-2 wing play could be what we need. See them with a goal kick just before the hour mark. South End coming forward then. Wakely gets there first. Street heads down to the goal scorer. The substitute and goal scorer. Through to McAniff. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. McAniff has to... How have you not scored that, buddy? You've been on fire recently and you just absolutely smashed that one wide. Nathan Ralph with a long-range free kick dinks the top of the bar... We need to do our final change. It needs to be Silco Thomas coming off. He's on a 6.2. Not really sure what you're doing. Apparently nothing. That must be what you're doing. So we're going to have to do that. We're going to do Hosker coming on. And then... I don't know. We'll go that way around. I feel like Hosker as an attacking midfielder. Probably better as a box-to-box -box as well. Well, the second half has certainly been a little bit better for us, hasn't it? It's a 4-4-2 versus a 4-4-2. Southend still have the lead. That's not what we need. We're out of substitutions, lads. Lovely. We'd, we'd just click continue. Ralph, you're just going to be a left winger now. Bridge with a corner with 10 minutes to spare. It's a header clear. Namai's going to get there first. So are we going to hopefully get this one clear or is this going to be another chance? We do get the ball clear, but nobody's there because that was our striker kicking it towards where he should be. Dunn to Freeman, back to Dunn. I'm, I'm concerned that this could be another goal here. Hockenhull, good name, like that name, it's a weird name, Thompson to Shimanga, right hand side is plenty of blue shirts, Bridge is one of them, Alexander's another, Nathan Ralph's got a job on his hands now hasn't he, the substitute's got a lot of people to try and keep an eye on, Freeman to Namai, through ball to Hawks, dinks it over the goalkeeper, over the bar as well, still 2-1 to South End, we are still within a chance but that injury to Zach Brown has basically given us a sending off, hasn't it? Hoskell with a free kick, long range chance from the from the Blackburn man over the bar. We're getting chances. Is 4-4-2 the way forward? Is this what we should be playing all the time? We've got a corner right at the death. Two minutes of injury time to play. Nathan Ralph is the man to take it. Crosses it in. It's towards nobody in the middle. Lewis Payne's going to pick the ball up though. It's Wakely, edge of the area. Wakely's gone for goal. The goalkeeper's fumbled it. Street's kept the ball alive. He's tried to cross it in. He's not managed to cross it in, though. Why did he try and cross that? Well, like, what was in his brain to try and cross, cross that? He should have passed it backwards. McAniff with the ball, keeping this alive. We've got a minute and a bit to go, and Dean Laird is there. The super sub makes it 2-2. We are shutting up shop, everybody. We, we can't, can't risk this. We really can't risk this. Dean Laird, you're on a hat trick. Street, can you play as a centre-back? Um, no, probably not. Do I know what I'm doing? No, I don't. But this is what we're going for. So we've got four defenders. I've moved Nathan Ralph in to be a centre-back. Hosker's going to be a wing-back on the left-hand side. Street is going to be a box-to-box -box midfielder. Malone's going to be a ball-winner midfielder. I mean, what are we doing here, lads? It's just it's just a mess, isn't it? McAniff's going to be a little bit of an outlet on that right-hand side. You've obviously got Dean Laird keeping his position as a striker. We have one minute... 
and 15 seconds of injury time to just hold on. Maybe we can get a winner. Hopefully nothing happens. It looks like nothing is going to happen. Dean Laird, the super sub, has just saved the day. An 8.9 rating. We are playing the 4-4-2. The 4-4-2 seems to work. And we've done that. Technically, a man down. Oh, and not only are we a man down, but that is a bad injury. Six to seven weeks for Zach Brown. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Um, Ralph? Oh, Ralph used to play for uh, Southend, apparently. So we're going to finish this episode then on the 29th of October. Eighth place. Still just outside the playoffs, but close enough. Close enough. How are our new board thinking? How they, they hated, hated the Dover versus Bath result, which is fair enough. Absolutely love the 2-2 draw against Southend. That will do nicely. That's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we are going to go to the end of December, I think is what we're going to do. So it's going to be Morecambe and Harrogate. We've also got an FA Cup th uh, first round, sorry, not third round, first round match against Stockport. Plenty of winnable games in here as well, although most of them are very decent sides. Top table sides, Torquay, Hartlepool should be winnable games. Solihull Moors is going to be a pain in the bum. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, do please remember to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I've just seen we've done an unbeaten episode as well. That's a, that's worth a like, isn't it? I'll see you in the next one for Morecambe and Harrogate. And hopefully 442 does the job going forward. Thanks for watching.